we have the 12th. Do- Hello, I'm uh, talking. Interrupting much. The 12th dog, although his jersey says 00. zero. But that's all <laughs> hey, whatever find. works. Hi, Laura Clark from the Walking Humane <laughs> Society. How do you do today? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's important for the 12th dog to be loud. Absolutely. Yes. He's, yeah. he's setting the example. He's saying, come on, Western Washington, get loud. <laughs> So we who do we you. have? You have Frank. 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 Why Frank? Frank Furter. He just kind of seems <laughs> Frank like. Yeah, okay. Frank Furter. Nice. He, he looks like a Frank. He does. So he's uh, some kind of hound. <laughs> yes, 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 he, he is. is. He agrees. <laughs> he is a three year old. Well, he's a mixed breed. He has Basset Hound, he has Beagle, and he has Frat Boy in him. Uh. <laughs> And he is really a fun dog. Now, hounds are not for everyone, so you can hear him. Sure, yeah. And you're always going to hear him. He's he's going to be a talker. Okay, he's vocal. He's very vocal, and he is very active. He actually originally came into us as a stray. Nobody came looking for him. We adopted him to a very well-meaning family, but they didn't quite have enough energy for him Mm. and so they brought him back in and you wouldn't necessarily think that a smaller dog a beagle mix would have a lot of energy but this guy does yes he does he wants to party so even if he got if he learns some manners he's still going to be rowdy he's just got one of those personalities where life is an adventure (laughs) and he wants to live it to the fullest good for him yeah great attitude how old is he he's only three only three okay um he would really benefit from some positive reward-based obedience training now he's very food motivated so it's not going to be hard to train him however that nose being the hound that he is is going to take him wherever yeah. it can and he's going to follow it so and they say that with a hound that has a good nose they can't even hear you anymore when they get on a scent. i have a hound thus the reason i now have to dye my hair and i have bags under my eyes <laughs> because hounds are a lot of work they wow. are they're sweet though they've got great personalities wonderful family companions this guy would do great in a home with another dog. Maybe not a home with cats or small animals. He does have a bit of a prey drive, so that's something someone's going to need to know about. If he were my dog, I'd take him to obedience training, and then at least one day a week, and Dave, you can speak to this, I'd take him to doggy daycare. I'd let him get rowdy and play rough with the other dogs, give you a break, and I can guarantee he'd come home real tired. The other nice thing about doggy daycare, especially if you have your dog trained at the same place, hey, hey, hey. We just met. <laughs> Frank. Frank. Ooh, Frank. Hello. <laughs> if you take your dog to doggy daycare at the same place that you take him for lessons, then all of those things that you learned in the training get reinforced every week. And that helps a lot with our dogs. Absolutely. Um, so you're not only working on the training, but also he's getting all that energy out of him. So yes. if you've got a long day at work, doggy daycare is a bonus. Um, my dogs have been banned for life from doggy daycare because they're so <laughs> ill-behaved. But for good dogs like sure. Frank... I'm sure doggy daycare would be a benefit Wait, for him. G- was Ginger banned too? No, Ginger wasn't banned. Okay. Although oh, banned by association. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I'm telling you, what a great dog. I mean, he's just fun. He's just, he's looking for a party 24-7. And if you love a dog with a larger than life personality, you got to come meet this guy. Boy, and for anybody who has said, I need a good excuse to get out and do things more often. I want to get out of the house this guy's going to give you a great reason to do it. He is. Now, probably not the best dog for somebody who lives in an apartment or a condo because he is loud. Yeah. And I can tell you, a bored Frank is going to be a noisy Frank. <laughs> so he needs to go out and get walked a few times a day. At least. Yeah. Um, he needs to keep busy. He loves his squeaky toys, but he does destroy them. So definitely you're going to want to keep him mentally and physically challenged there. Um, and again, if he's left to his own devices... Things could get interesting. So tire him out, train him, and love him, and you're going to have a great dog. Okay. Well, Frank is just cool. You can meet him for yourself at the Whatcom Humane Society. It looks like your your collection of dogs is smaller than usual right now. We've had some great adoptions. Good. This traditionally is a slower time for us, but that really, really, dude... Really? That's, he that's loves so you. So exactly. You're not getting a cookie. No. Speak. Speak. Good boy. We have a lot of animals still, small animals, horses, cats, dogs. Come on down. Excellent. Laura Clark from the Watkins Humane Society. Thank you so much. Have a great week.